It's exhilarating to be here. Good feeling, isn't it? I've heard you talk about separating the idea of having money from the idea of working or having a job, and that sparked just wonderful thoughts and feelings of why conform to the idea of a nine to five or this other things. Could I've been you saying take money out of the equation? You take money out of the equation. For most of you, the majority of your lack consciousness will go with it. And you could do it pretty easily after a conversation like the one that we've had here today because you are getting the sense of what vibrational currency is. And you're getting the sense of the power of that receiving mode and what it will yield to you. You know, you have to let your reasoning mind show you that there must be more to the attraction of financial remuneration than you've been thinking because there are a lot of people working really, really hard and not becoming prosperous. And there are a lot of people who don't work that hard who are magnificently prosperous. And the world's response to that often is, well, let's just take the finite pot or pie and just split it up more equitably among the masses. And then we say it wouldn't be long before the pie would be right back where it is because it's a vibrational attraction thing, you see. So our best way of stepping into this conversation is to use the reasoning analogy that you say you would like maybe an extra $500,000 right away because there are some things that you would apply it to. And you also are reasonable enough to... We'll start again. Is reasonable based upon how it has been or is reasonable based upon your understanding of the laws of the universe? So many people have an expectation that that $500,000 is not going to come to them today. So today isn't the day again. And then today isn't the day again. And then today isn't the day again. But we want you to acknowledge that there may be too much resistance on your trail, on your path for you to let that money in right now. You could let a feeling of freedom in. You could bask in the understanding that you're free to choose. And you could bask in the feeling of freedom that nobody creates your own reality. And you could bask in the feeling of freedom that you and you alone establish your point of attraction and that everything responds to that. So you could shift the way you feel and you could have the feeling of prosperity. And if you do that often enough, you will have practiced a vibration that holds you steadily in that place where money has to flow to you in powerful fashion. So money out of the equation, feeling of some feeling. Let's say it's stronger. The need for the manifestation out of the equation and the feeling of being in the receptive mode, the desire. Doesn't matter if the manifestation is money or a mate or an empire or an improved political community. Doesn't matter what the manifestation you want is. You gotta stop focusing on it if your belief is that it isn't. Because what has manifested will keep you from manifesting it. Because you take yourself and what you think everywhere you go. So it's different places and different faces, but the same thing over and over and over again. Thank you. Ooh, isn't that delicious? Yes. So want to play with it a little bit? Absolutely. So we're just going to ask you, because we think you're ready to go there, talk to us about your feelings of prosperity and leave money out of the equation. Prosperity equals freedom to go wherever I wish to go. And do you do that? Sometimes, much of the time. All right. So if you're hesitant about that, <laughs> not as much as I would like, then that example yeah. didn't help you much better than if you'd left money in the equation, right? Because a lot of people don't feel free because they're doing stuff they don't want to do. So right. you have to find some piece of it somewhere that gives you a little feeling. Esther used to say to Jerry, not based upon what they were currently living at all, but based upon what she used to live when she was punching a time clock and working by the hour, she'd say to him, let's get a Coke and pretend like we're on vacation. <laughs> she just loved that feeling of in the middle okay. of the day playing hooky from whatever it was they were doing and just sort of rebelliously doing nothing that they were supposed to be doing. <laughs> well, 
that can be helpful to you to realize how often you can do that. Hey, I'm at work and I can play on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're choosing, yeah. This world has given me so much freedom, so much freedom to think, understanding law of attraction. I'm way ahead. I'm light years ahead. I've left shortage consciousness almost completely behind. You see, there are only three, we shouldn't say only, but there are basically three arenas of shortage consciousness that many of you are participating with. Shortage consciousness about money, not enoughness. Shortage consciousness around time. I got too much to do and not enough time to do it in. And shortage consciousness about space. I got too much stuff for my space. Or I don't have enough stuff for my space. And so when you focus on any of those things that cause you to feel lackful, you impede, you put a filter on, you block the flow of the abundance that's in the vortex that you're calling to you. Your inner being is just flowing Here's how it works, because there's no assertion. Oh, you're going to like this so much. We've not had this conversation before. So you were source energy before you came into this physical body and still are. A part of you became this physical personality, but the larger part of you is still this source energy. So there is a circle that is you that includes the non-physical and the physical. So you are one, the non-physical and the physical. So the physical you decides that you would like some things and you throw it into your vortex and the non-physical you finds a vibrational alignment with it and becomes it immediately. So when your inner being is attracting the things that you desire, it feels like your inner being is giving them to you. But what your inner being is really doing is attracting them to the bigger part of you through you. <sighs> Did you get that? Your inner being is not asserting the well-being that you're asking to you. Your inner being is drawing what you're asking for to the larger part of you, which is your inner being. And so what you want is being drawn to you by your inner being who's drawing it through you. So the way that plays out is everything that you want, your inner being is focused upon it and flowing ideas and information and possible paths. And when you accept that, then you never again will feel shortage consciousness of anything because your inner being and all this resourceful stuff that you want to call, we call it non-physical. Sometimes you want to call it God. In other words, the blessings are raining down all around you. And once you begin to understand this, then you put yourself in that place. You release some of the filters and you let yourself be the receiver of more of it more often. And then you just feel freer and freer and more empowered and more blessed and more worthy and more happy and more sure-footed and more eager and nothing gets you down because you know it always is working out for you. And now you're just enjoying the journey the way you intended to. And now you're the deliberate creator that you wanted to be. And you're enjoying the contrast because it helps you clarify and you love the feeling of molding yourself into vibrational alignment with it. And new ideas keep hatching and you just keep feeling better and better. And the older you get, the younger you are, the better you feel, the more vital and vitality that you have and you justify all the odds of the way most people who have lived this long are living because you're just high on life and eager about more, 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 more. You are the physical embodiment of source energy. Whew. I am. Yeah. No shortage consciousness there. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Something more? No. Thank you. Yeah. Really good.